there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy XV Brotherhood here on Pastiche of Skin. Yes, we're watching through another episode of Brotherhood. This one is actually my personal favourite episode. Um, with the structure of what we've seen in the first episode, we were shown uh, the Naga that attacked Noctis. The fact that it's going to, he's about to jump into attack with it again. Now, the rest of these episodes kind of like bulb out with a bunch of like backstories of each of the characters uh, while showing intermittent parts of the scenes in the fight and how they relate to Noctis. And in this one, we're getting a nice focus on Prompto. Prompto is the uh, blonde-haired loudmouth that we've actually seen in every single trailer and video, and he's actually got a specialized little VR game experience that's coming out for him on PlayStation VR as well. This guy is actually went from being my most hated character I, like I can't couldn't stand him in any of the promotional materials to loving him with just watching this episode. So you're gonna have me gushing a wee bit about watching this one, but um yeah. Just watch it and kind of understand you'd probably figure out exactly why I really enjoy this. So this is episode two, Dogged Runner for Brotherhood Final Fantasy fifteen. Let's take a look at it from the top. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. So the Brotherhood, of course, um, with the layout of the episodes, it immediately made me think that there was going to be four episodes looking at each one of them, and then one at Noctis. But I think it's kind of like it threads really well in between all of them. <laughs> Even like the little kind of like musical cues I'm looking forward to hearing when I'm sitting in the car. It's a great idea. Give you an excuse for a soundtrack and everything. Again, even in these moments now, he still seems a bit of a loudmouth prick. ゲームを <laughs> Okay. So what reason would you have to be falling off the road? Because of Doggo. Doggo of always the reason to get off the road. Especially Hurt Doggo. Hurt Doggo hurts our hearts. We feel for the Doggo. Aww. The Doggo even looks sad for himself. All the pets. You figured it out yet? Can you figure it slightly why that I might actually like this character? God damn, I miss whenever I had hair. Toilet. <laughs> So yeah, of course, uh, Prompto is a childhood friend. As in, like, he happened to be in the same school. He <laughs> doesn't actually know Prince Noctis. So, <clears throat> I, I, just from even seeing that one scene, just him walking by, no acknowledgement, I kind of was going, like, how do you end up being, like, part of the crew of four or five people that are trusted with protection of the prince? Especially if this is who you are whenever you're a kid. This journey is amazing. I love watching it. Just a lonely kid taking his photographs. So the little touches like this as well, to actually just see normal life rather than actually um, what their life has become. And yeah, that, this feels far too familiar. You know, that's key kid just got kind of like get your own lunch from somewhere, being a, uh, while letting yourself back into the house kind of thing. Uh, they, you gotta feel, immediately feel for this guy, but um, it's so hard to see where the kind of like overly cheery, upbeat, loud version of Prompto that we've seen <laughs> so far is coming from. It's actually for, uh, from a very introspective kid. Oh, And another pupper! Puppers and doggos everywhere! They're amazing! 
This is the fact that this one's just chilling out. Oh. Biscuits are unbelievably adorable. He's having, a He's having to be convenient. <laughs> the dog actually knows it does. It's not like getting the photograph taken. Damn the smart dog. See, just the fact that the you know, dog ownership is actually one of those immediate things that if you actually are... <laughs> you know, whenever you're actually um, a person who lives alone or actually just kind of um, never really has to care or concern for another creature, like, uh, I can see why it immediately makes a lot of people a better person. Because you become less about yourself and about taking care of others, you know what I mean? Chibi. Is this a standard little dog wine noise? Me TV. Bonnui Chibi. Bonnui. I think that dog doesn't sleep. Or probably sleeps all day. Chibi. <laughs> Skip dog. Kind of impressive. TV. 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 It's one of those things. Whenever, like, it, obviously the dog wasn't his, and he would have cared well for it, but TV. nature of things. <laughs> you don't know what you've got till it's gone. So, obviously, this kind of like widens out. This is like the wider world of the Final Fantasy 15 game. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have known. Like, I'm sure I'm going to see Umbra, Umbra, and uh, what's the name of the other one? I'm about to find Prina. out. Yeah, Priya, 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 and Umbra. We're going to know more about these dogs. We're going to actually like. Obviously, I'm looking forward to seeing them grown up in the in the actual like full game because there's going to be a reason why. We've got like this is gonna be it'll be a little nugget of knowledge to take with me into the game, kinda of like waiting for me to show up. And who are you? <laughs> I wanna know. I wanna know who these characters are. Hmm, smells of roses. Ha! <laughs> I knew he was gonna smell of that. I couldn't act, honestly actually couldn't remember. Or kind of remember, but I think that was caught me off guard. Like, yeah. Luna Freya Nox Flue. Chibi no? 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 ノクティス王子。プランプト様はノクティス様のご学友なのだそうですね。ノクティス様はお忙しく、なかなか周囲の方と遊べないので、あまりお会いできないのかもしれません。That's weird. I can I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's an odd little context. This kid took a letter from a person he doesn't know who owned a dog that he had taken care of for a couple of days and takes that to actually mean, like, this is my new friend. Prompto's got a few little mild stalkerish issues. Um, he's just like the mindset a little bit, or kind of like, he's just thirsty for friendship. But, <laughs> oh man. Uh, checking on his camera, of course. Ah, Dodo. No concern for himself. Ah, 
Yeah, I mean, he, like dude, being a big kid, actually, yeah. That, like, even just a single line like that could actually <laughs> just like give him a little bit of a comedy beat as well. But yeah, like to have like something like a single moment like that change who you are in a way. It's kind of a, it's, a, it's a weird, weird thought. Yeah, <laughs> it's in his head. He's made the decision. Although the sniffing the letter is like did honestly we're getting to see the creepier and creepier side of this dude. I mean, I like the I like the character, I like the context, I like the reason the way he actually like changes himself to make to make him where who he wants to be. I like the idea of the self change. But what? His context, his reasoning for doing so is so so surreal. It makes it much more interesting than what he ends up being like, like just like that last first image. On your left. <laughs> No fries, just the burger. <laughs> not, not until I can hide behind this pool. <laughs> I do love the, the cagoule. <laughs> the fact that it's actually a transparent one. <laughs> the side of solid and a half, to be honest, that's like solid bowl. Mm, see, it's like the idea of actually not seeing that much change in yourself. Randomly ask somebody, why not? <laughs> it's a very, um, it's not actually kind of like, um, hyping up thing, but it's actually like almost a Yakuza, or not a Yakuza, uh, Yakuza, the wrong word, um, sumo. <laughs> I don't know why I got to do this, a sumo kind of thing to actually like pump yourself up. And like, this is actually adorable whenever he's a younger man. <laughs> like, this, like, well, obviously, he's like a low level kind of like office government worker at that point. He, but rather than actually like growing up to pretty much be Noctis's kind of keeper. It's been a while, chap. It's the fact that he actually waited from like middle school to high school. And I imagine for Noctis even at that time as well, it's just, it made him further and further apart from everyone. See? <laughs> the fact that he actually immediately didn't like <laughs> figure out exactly his don't I know you? You're like, I know you for somewhere. <laughs> Would have actually obviously <laughs> noticed him over time. Oh. <laughs> this is five I'm mean, the thing is like I've seen him with the wee healing gel, I imagine it's probably real. <laughs> Oh, the family of puppies. <laughs> yeah, the, completely forgot that he slept through a car crash. Or like a <laughs> really like run up. Was like, All right, knock this, whatever. You sleepy dude. Yeah, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna steal her from you. I know she's betrothed and you're meant to be getting married and stuff, but uh, yeah. 
I imagine it's just the fact that he's going to run up and Prinya is probably going to remember him and there'll be like a whole reunion moment with the puppy and I'll be going like, oh, and I'll be going like, that's just kind of like, that's sweet. Yeah, he gets on well with dogs. No, but that was his dog for a couple of days. So thank you very much for watching, guys. My commentary over the top of the Brotherhood episode two, um, Dogged Runner, the one that focuses on Pronto, who I, I, <laughs> I mean, I like this episode. It makes me like the character more, but he has a few issues with his kind of like slightly obsessive stalkerish personality but fair play to him for actually doing what he did he made himself the man he wanted to be to be deserving of the attention he was probably going to get if he wanted to speak to the person anyway i, I don't know but essentially it's kind of like <laughs> that it was his past to being part of the brotherhood who he is and how he connects to noctis and of course we're going to be watching a lot more of that from the next couple of episodes for all the other characters ignis and uh, ignis and others so, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has actually been a bit fun. I'm looking forward to doing another episode of this really soon, and uh, we'll work our way through the all five episodes of the season in time for Final Fantasy XV's release. So thank you very much for watching. I will chat all you dudes in the next video. And if you want to actually make sure to catch every video as you go along, you can hit this button up here. You know, you'll subscribe to the entire season. Oh, hang on. I don't want to do that. Ugh, too many mistakes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I pressed too many buttons there and destroyed everything. So I went horribly wrong. Uh... So anyway, yes, you can press the button up here to subscribe. And you can actually go over to this side here and actually be able to watch previous episodes from um, other seasons, other shows that I do. And of course, you can probably watch the previous episodes of this as well as any demos and playthroughs of Final Fantasy XV as they come available. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all dudes in the next video. Bye.